What is going on everybody? Lamont's on the run today. Oh boy. Washoe County Sheriff's Office. Jail. I'm at the jail. Uh, this is the uh, location where Unstoppable Morgan was uh, brought to to go to jail for uh, extortion. Now, she's no longer here. Uh, she, I believe, has been released on her own recognizance, but she would have walked out of those doors right there. Just by dumb luck, I happened to be in the area and I thought it would be funny to uh, come to this jail. You know how I am with locations, you know, just gotta go to the location. This appears to be a karma box. So if you come over here and open it, you get a book, you get some food that people never eat. I guess the oats are okay, quick oats, pencil beans. Of course, I, actually, I, I really want to take that, but the jar's been opened. All right, so let's let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. So uh, I'm in Reno for the next uh, three days doing a story, uh, working my way to Northern California. And uh, this uh, little bit of drama, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, it details a YouTuber that almost had it all. She almost was gifted an opportunity to have not only have more than a million subscribers but also to make some damn good money doing it and she i guess what the kids would call nowadays she dropped the bag she dropped the bag so unstoppable morgan was recently arrested and charged with extortion i ain't gonna lie to you kids i ain't gonna lie to you i don't know the details of the case because i didn't really care to read it but from what I heard through the grapevine on YouTube is that I guess she threatened some guy that she was dating. She threatened uh, to, I don't know, try to extort money or something like that. And then she's also, I guess, what do you call it? Uh, posting pictures uh, with her with a black guy when there was no black guy or whatever so I, I'm not really sure I don't really know but uh, I what I do know is this I know that there is a girl that is very I would say she's troubled hey, right hey, we, we came to the show. I would say she has some issues uh, drinking issues from what I know of I haven't really paid much attention to her and you know people like that people on YouTube that live in their vehicles and live in their vans you know don't really pay attention much to them anymore. Ever since Camel Dave died, I just don't really care about them. But that's how I knew of Unstoppable Morgan is from Camel Dave. And you have some uh, smaller clown YouTube channels uh, talking about uh, Unstoppable Morgan and how she is uh, a terrible person and uh, she does this and she does that and she drinks and she smokes meth and this and that terrible 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 person uh somebody told me about a guy that has a youtube channel that has been making videos about her and he's really angry because i guess she had crashed his car or something like that now i don't think he's angry because she crashed his car i mean there is insurance he's probably just angry because she didn't have sex with him I mean, can you guys, honestly, if there's a guy on YouTube crying about his car being crashed, do you think if he had sex with her, he'd be saying anything? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Guy got rejected and, uh, you know, now he's upset because he, he didn't get his willy wet. So anyways, so... Here, here's my here's my thing. Uh, I know I've made a couple troll videos uh, talking about uh, Morgan, and you know I made them because I, I I just I seen a woman who was clearly going through some things personally in her life, and I just thought it was so interesting how she was gifted that viral video of her living in her Bronco 
and she wasn't she did not have anybody in her corner to kind of direct her on how to go about her channel i mean she would probably be in my top 10 of biggest youtube failures of all time not calling her a failure in life because i don't know her and i don't know her history but all i know is when it comes to youtube and failing at it yeah she's definitely in the top 10 edp 445 would be the top one he's the biggest youtube failure ever i don't even think it's close he, he's probably all top 10 the size of him but uh i just thought it was interesting to see a girl a, a, a pretty girl who just did not know how to handle her sudden fame and appears or it appeared to me at the time that she did absolutely everything she could to ruin her channel i mean i even sent her an email from a different email account saying like listen you know you you you, you really shouldn't be uh talking about you know like how much money you make uh and she she did everything wrong everything now can she come back of course she can of course she can come back um everybody loves you know what let me tell you two things that people love people love when other people fail they love it but people also love a comeback story so this girl whatever her mental state is i don't know but people love a comeback story she could always come back I mean, she's a good-looking woman, and, you know, people, they, uh, I guess they just kind of, they let it go easier when you're more attractive than if you're not. But, uh, you know, Morgan has done some things that people definitely don't like. But uh, she can easily redeem herself, definitely. And uh, the story with her and the guy hooking up with the, with the rich guy uh, I don't know nothing about that. Uh, I don't know who he is. I don't know what he is. All I know is he's rich and they met up and I guess that's the guy that put her in jail. So I don't know. I don't know the story behind anything. Uh, all I'm here is to show the jail. Thought it was kind of funny. And, uh, you know, listen, let's, let's uh, see if she wants to get herself some uh, mental help because, uh, you know, you can make as many videos as you can on a particular person that has uh, that you felt scorned you because they didn't do what you wanted to do. But uh, at the end of the day, from what it appears to me, uh, this is a woman who has mental problems and it no longer, in my opinion, becomes funny when somebody is mentally disturbed and they're not seeking the, uh, you know, treatments that they need to go about living a normal life okay guys i'm out of here i'm going to winko i'm gonna get some chicken wings i'll see y'all later peace out